you want to make sure the rails are squared up as well. Okay, the easiest way to do this is to measure the diagonals and make sure that they're exactly the same. Now, if you have an edge or line to work off of, it certainly helps here. So I'm using the line on this driveway and a square to help position the rails so that they're square. And you're really hoping that line is true. Now, the key to keeping your gate from sagging over time is to install this diagonal brace here because that's gonna give it the rigidity it needs to not just sag immediately. And it's also important to mention the direction of the brace. This is a good point. This is a good point. A lot of people miss this or they, they would install it as if they were bracing a chain link gate, which is backwards for this type of gate. 